Rio Olympics may be the last Olympics involving humans with natural abilities. We are entering a transhuman phase where competitions among humans with natural abilities will fall out of favor. In next few months, we will see first such competition among transhumans. This is the future of sports. Lesser number of people watched Olympic this time. NBC saw a double digit decline in total viewers of Rio Olympics versus the games held in London just 4 years ago. Olympics for all its glory and tradition may appear boring to audiences. I mean, nothing really exciting happens in the Olympics now. Specifically, no world records are broken. In fact, many world records were established long way back. For example, one of the most popular Olympic games is 100m dash. The world record in this game was established by Usain Bolt in 2009. In long jump, the record was established in 1991. In short put, the record was established in 1990. In discus throw, the record was established in 1986. If we move to women games, the story is even more dismal. The world record in 100 meter dash was established in 1988, even when the world records are broken. Only minuscule progress is made. For example, in Rio Olympics, Wade Van Nykerk of South Africa created a new world record in 400 meter dash. As compared to the previous record of 43.18 seconds, Wade completed the race in 43.03 seconds. This is an improvement of 15 milliseconds. This might be a huge improvement for people involved with the specific sport, but it certainly does not make worldwide news. I think you get the idea. And I'm not dissing on athletes here. It is just that we are reaching the limits of human ability and the situation is not improving anytime soon. It takes huge amount of time for humans to evolve so human body is not getting any better in the time scales that we have at hand. In short, sports in general and Olympics in particular need to change drastically if they want to engage the audiences. In fact, we are already moving in that direction. In the future, we will witness more blend of sports and technology. When I say technology in sports, I do not mean electronic scoring boards, underwater lap counters, timing instruments or GPS devices. But what I am talking about here is called transhumanism, something that you probably have only seen in the Marvel production movies. Transhumanism is a theory that human race can evolve beyond its current physical and mental limitations, especially by means of science and technology. In the future sporting events, athletes will be geared with superhuman abilities using technology. Something similar to superheroes like Iron Man, Captain America, Black Widow, Hulk and Thor. Some of this technology is already out. Since patents give us insights into technology much before it comes into the market, Patent Yogi research team dig deep into the patent databases to find out technology that is still under development. Powered exoskeletons would be the biggest game changer in the future games. A powered exoskeleton is a variable mobile machine that is powered by a system of motors, pneumatics, levers, hydraulics, etc. that allows for limb movement with increased strength and increased endurance. Basically, it is just an Iron Man suit. Many research organizations are developing exoskeletons. MIT has filed many patents for exoskeletons that may be operated to walk and run efficiently. These exoskeletons will provide superhuman running skill to athletes, making them run much faster than Usain Bolt. With increased strength, humans will be capable of performing new tasks. So we might see athletes racing over water. Exoskeletons enhance the athlete's overall physical strength. So weightlifting could witness a competition among humans with huge strength. 
something like Hulk or Superman. In fact, weightlifters may also be allowed to use anabolic steroids, performance enhancing drugs and bone strengtheners. Lockheed Martin patented an exoskeleton that can assist users in lifting weights. Even US Army has filed patents for exoskeletons to assist in carrying injured soldiers during wars. But these could be used by weightlifters as well. Technologies like bionic eyes and telescopic lens will provide supernatural eyesight to the archers and shooters. These lens enhance visibility of the lens wearer such that they can see far away objects with much more clarity. This will help the archers and the shooters aim for significantly longer distances with extreme precision. Swimmers may be injected with oxygen-filled microparticles to oxygenate their bodies for a significant amount of time. This technological advancement would transform the current swimming format into an underwater swimming competition. Underwater swimming is generally faster than swimming on the surface. In future, Olympic Games would be much more interesting, thrilling and entertaining than an action-packed sci-fi thriller movie. In October 2016, we will get a teaser trailer of future Olympics in Cybethlon, which is an international competition to be held in Switzerland. The competition will feature disabled athletes using bionic assistive technology such as robotic processes, brain-computer interfaces and powered exoskeletons. The athletes will participate in various events such as functional electrical simulation bike race, brain-computer interface race, powered arm or leg prosthesis race and powered wheelchair race. Then around December 2017, Dubai will host the World Future Sports Games where automated or controlled robots will compete rather than the humans. This event will showcase futuristic competitions such as manned and unmanned drone racing, robotic soccer, driverless car racing and cyber athlete competitions. The future of sports looks damn interesting. We are eagerly looking for these events. Let us know your thoughts on the future of sports in the comments below. Tune in next Wednesday for a new video on awesome patented technologies. Until next time, keep innovating and keep patenting.